Let me go over some quick uh, features of the speed controller, the electronic speed controller. Uh, like I said, it's got a safety feature where it's not going to engage the motor unless it's been down into the uh, throttle uh, minimum setting uh, with the stick all the way down. And uh, let me go through a typical startup sequence. I've got the throttle down. Uh, sometimes you have to take your trim tab right here for the throttle and turn it all the way down. Um, I've seen that happen uh, depending upon how the radio is set up. But let me just lower that throttle and then I'm going to plug in the battery and listen for the tones. Okay, so it had a little song, then it had three beeps, then a single beep. Uh, you'll pretty much hear the, that song at the beginning all the time. The three beeps means that it has sensed a three cell uh, battery. Okay, if you ever hear a two beep there, it means there's something wrong with the battery, so you don't want to start it up. Okay, let me go through some uh, scenarios here that you might uh, encounter. Here, I'm going to have the throttle not all the way at the top, but in the middle. Okay, so that basically it's saying, hey, it's not at the top where I'm in a programming mode. It's in the middle. Um, and here's what you're going to hear. You hear that fast beat, okay? That fast beat's not going to go away until you lower that throttle. Okay? Now, if I move this up, the, the motor will turn. Okay? Another one is, if I say turn the radio off, it knows that it's not getting a signal. If I turn it on now, okay, so it's a continual beep, but it's a little bit slower. Okay, it's not as fast as the uh, throttle in the middle, which I can actually put the throttle in the middle here, turn the radio on. Okay. So what happens when I turn the radio back on and the throttle was in the middle, it then sends that as the minimum throttle setting. So uh, if you have a situation where you did something wrong, the best thing for you to do is to lower that throttle back down, unplug the battery, start it over from scratch. That way uh, you're not going to have something funky kind of happen. So uh, I've seen people where they didn't have the radio on, they turned it on after they turned on the receiver. Then they finally they turn the radio on. Next thing you know, they start it up and the throttle curve is all messed up. So if you have something go funky, unplug your battery, turn your radio off, turn your radio back on, make sure that radio is on first, then plug the battery in. That's pretty much it.